Many along the Florida panhandle are still without electricity, cell phone service, and fuel. Jerika Duncan is in Panama City with more on life after the storm. Among the downed trees and massive power lines that Michael took out are the stories of the people whose lives were turned upside down by the hurricane. As we toured the devastated neighborhoods of Panama City today, we found people in need of the most basic supplies. The National Guard handed out cases of water from a school parking lot. And for several hours, drivers waited in long lines for gas. When they finally got it, this is like Christmas. front yards were turned into kitchens for cooking. These neighbors in the Glenwood section of the city are making the best of a bad situation. I'm still in shock about that, man. 43-year-old Daryl Garrett says he and his mother, who at times relies on an oxygen tank to breathe, rode out the storm in the hallway of their home, where fierce winds brought down a large oak tree on top of their roof. This is the tree that fell. Daryl's sister, Willie Mae Morgan, and her family of five are also now staying here because her house was ruined. I don't know. Whenever we get on our feet, we may have to just relocate somewhere. Do you think this community will bounce back? Not really. <laughs> Not it does, really. It's going to take a long time. Many people here were struggling well before Michael made landfall. The median household income in Panama City is just over $38,000. 22% of residents live in poverty. When you already don't have anything and have to start from the bottom up, that's going to be hard. Willie Mae Morgan is an elementary school teacher. Her husband, Curtis, a construction worker. They say they're making it one day at a time, hoping more help comes quickly. Crews are still focused on restoring electricity and getting water to many of these homes. At least 12 locations in this area are giving out free food and drinking water. But, Tony, the problem is many people can't get there because they don't have any gas, and a lot of times they don't have any money. Jerika Duncan for us in the Storm Zone. Jerika, thank you.